Hi, this is Dr. Connie Case Bolt Carver with Greenville Forum Health. Um, we're going to talk today about some common lifestyle factors that can influence your energy level. In other words, fatigue. So fatigue is one of the most common symptoms that people come in with. And fortunately, there are some lifestyle changes that you can make that can improve your energy level. So let's go through some of these. Probably the number one is going to be diet. So a lot of people are either drinking too much caffeine or they're drinking too many sodas or they're eating fast food or junk food or foods filled with sugar, you get the drift. So what you really wanna do is clean up your diet. Now you can either do that on your own or we have a health coach assisted protocol where you can just plug in and they do a lot of the heavy lifting in terms of helping you, uh, advising you on what to do. So that's called our GDRX program. It's valuable for so many people and we get routinely great results and people's energy improve. We hear this all the time. So another lifestyle factor is exercise or lack thereof. Now it's counterintuitive that when you exercise and you're expending energy that it would actually give you energy, but it does. So if you have a daily exercise, which should consist of a combination of cardio, which is you know walking fast or bicycling, and also weights, should be a combination of those. If you have that daily or at least several times per week habit, you will have more energy, almost guaranteed. Another lifestyle factor is sleep. So sleep deprivation or inadequate sleep is extremely common. And there are so many things that could be said about sleep. There's entire books written about it. But what you wanna do is make sure you're practicing good sleep hygiene, stay off the electronic devices for at least an hour prior to bedtime, make sure your bedroom is extremely dark, so no light in your bedroom. Uh, make sure you don't engage in stressful activities prior to going to bed. Uh, obviously, no caffeine after 12 noon. Some people even need to cut back before that, if, depending on how they tolerate caffeine. Um, sometimes taking B vitamins at bedtime can make you too hyped up to sleep. So there's a lot of different factors that can affect sleep, but if you don't get good sleep, you will be tired. Um, stress management is another thing. So this is where people that do yoga, meditation, deep breathing, if you can't control the stress, which is your reaction, basically, you will have low energy. So again, if you have stressful things happening to you, you can still control your response to them through these things that I've mentioned, the yoga, meditation, and breathing. So those are just a few things. And um, in the next video, I'm gonna talk about things that we can do even beyond that to help alleviate fatigue.